I'm Chris, you're watching Fragmental. In this video, I'm talking about Perfume Parlor's interpretation of By Killian's Back to Black. It's called Dark Return. And I'm also looking at their brand new bottle presentation. So, if you're interested, stay tuned to FM. You've probably noticed from time to time, I talk about Perfume Parlor on my channel. Love the company, I think they're a great company. They really gave me the opportunity to smell a lot of different fragrances and pulled me in deep to the world of fragrances. And I wouldn't be making this channel if it wasn't for that company. One of my favorite fragrances that they do, which I think is uh, very close to the original, is uh, their interpretation of By Killian's Back to Black. I've already mentioned it in several videos, but I've never done a video just dedicated to this fragrance. Perfume Parlor very kindly sent me this bottle for free. This is the first bottle they've ever sent me for free. I own hundreds of fragrances from them and I've purchased them all up until this point. They've got a brand new bottle presentation, so they wanted to send me this for me to take a closer look. And I thought it would be useful to make a video to, to show you guys uh, this, this bottle presentation and to talk in a bit more detail about the juice inside, which I love so much. So their interpretation of Killian's Back to Black is called Dark Return. Let's take a closer look at the bottle and the notes. The notes are aphrodisiac, bergamot, saffron, nutmeg, cardamom, coriander, raspberry, chamomile, olibanum, honey, cedar, oak, tobacco, patchouli, almond, vanilla, labdanum, benzoin, and tonka bean. So a lot of notes going on in there. We'll talk about those in a second. I'm just gonna show you the bottle. So there we have at the front of the bottle, you can see the label on there, Dark Return, and the number on their website is 0931. If you're searching for this on their website, you can either put in Killian's Back to Black, you can put in the search box Dark Return, or you can just put in the number and it will come up with this fragrance. So it's actually quite a nice bottle. Um, if you turn to the side, you've got some ridges on here, which I think is quite a nice touch. On the back, they have a new logo, which is uh, in gold and silver. Uh, I think that looks pretty classy. And then it's got a nice wooden cap, actually, which is a nice surprise. So up until this point, the Perfume Parlor bottles have been a little more basic, a little more stock, but I think that this is definitely, um, definitely an upgrade to that presentation. Also included in the presentation upgrade is a different box. So you can see that the bottle just sits in the insert inside the box and the box itself is, uh, is okay. Uh, I've seen better, I've seen worse, but it's certainly an upgrade in terms of Perfume Parlor. This is one of my favorite tobaccos. It's definitely the tobacco and the honey that to me are the main players in this fragrance. The honey is almost like a sticky sweetness, but somehow never cloying. The tobacco is sweet and warming and resinous. So it's the pairing of these two notes that just really make the fragrance. Also, there's some resinous woods adding a bit of backbone and structure. So there's some oak and there's some cedar. And uh, olibanum is giving this sweet, resinous warmth. So all these things are just making this sweet, very woody, very pleasing fragrance. I have been um, testing this against the um, original, which uh, has come in this little sample. Uh, should we do a crash zoom on the presentation of my sample? This sample was purchased from FragranceSamplesUK.com. This video is not sponsored by FragranceSamplesUK.com. If you're looking for samples and you're based in the UK, why not try FragranceSamplesUK.com? Remember, this video is in no way sponsored by FragranceSamplesUK.com. There we go, lovely little presentation on the sample here. Something else that I get uh, from Dark Return is this uh, almond cherry-like type accord. So it reminds me of uh, a cake that we have here in the UK called a cherry bakewell. It's basically just a sweet cake with icing and a, and a cherry, but it has like a, an almond flavoring. So it reminds me of that. These are the two things that to me are a little bit different. I think the Perfume Parlor is very, very close, but when I'm really scrutinizing it up close, the Killian doesn't quite have that cherry almond accord to the same degree. It is still there, but it's not quite as prominent as in the Perfume Parlor, but I really enjoy the more prominent Almond Cherry Accord that the Perfume Parlor has. I think it just pops a little bit more. 
The other difference between Dark Return and the original is this one is um, it's a little bit more robust, a little bit more brash and a little bit rougher around the edges. But that's definitely not a negative. I like that this is a little bit more assertive and a little bit louder. The original by Killian is a beautiful fragrance, but it's a little more refined and a little more elegant. I think it projects a little less than the Perfume Parlor and certainly doesn't last as long on my skin as Perfume Parlor. So yeah, the Perfume Parlor isn't as smooth and elegantly blended as the original, but personally, um, my taste in fragrance means that uh, out of the two, I actually prefer the Perfume Parlor version. So I was thinking of buying a bottle of Back to Black. I'd recently just used my, uh, my original bottle of, um, of Perfume Parlor's version and I didn't know whether to buy another one or whether to get the Killian, but then Perfume Parlor said, hey, we've got this new bottle, could we send it to you for you to have a look at, give us your opinion, uh, what fragrance would you like in it? So no brainer, I just went for uh, Back to Black, um, Dark Return. So very happy to have this, I'm very thankful to have this. And yeah, I do prefer it just a little bit over the original. Something else I really love about Dark Return, particularly in the dry down, is it has this sweet muskiness. And this is a really kind of sexy, sensual type of muskiness. It's sweet. And I think uh, whether, whether this is anything to do with the aphrodisiac note that's in there, I don't know, but it just has something that is really sexy. I find this element of the fragrance to be really empowering, really confidence inspiring to the point that when I wear this fragrance, I can go out with a little bit of extra swag, a little bit of extra confidence. And if a fragrance can make you feel that way, then, you know, that's just magic. The time to wear this would be more in autumn and winter. It's definitely a scent that I think excels in colder weather, but I think you could get away with wearing this in warmer temperatures. I think you would maybe just go uh, less on the sprays, but uh, I, I think you could wear it, particularly here in the UK when we do get some cooler summer days, uh, I think it would still work. Maybe even as, um, as an evening scent, summer evenings when it, it's getting a little bit cooler, but generally it would work best in the cooler temperatures just because that sweet, musky, honey, woody tobacco just cuts through the cold air just perfectly. In terms of performance, this is, this is pretty beastly for me. The projection of this, for me, seems to last for the entire life of the fragrance. So this will be on my skin for around 10 hours. If I get this on a jacket that I've been wearing, the next time I come to put the same jacket on, I can still really smell this fragrance so it does linger definitely on clothing so it is a very strong performer. I just want to finish by talking a little bit more about the new presentation and how you can get hold of it and how much it's going to cost you. So Perfume Parlor is still very much in the early stages of uh, introducing this bottle into their lineup. I don't think it is as yet available on their website. What you can do though is email them and let them know that you would like to purchase a fragrance in this new 60ml bottle. And I believe, as of making this video, they have an introductory offer for this new bottle where you can purchase 60ml for £20. So you're going to get the upgraded presentation, I think you can have whatever fragrance you want in the new bottle and you're going to get 60ml. And not everyone's bothered about presentation. Most of the time, I think Perfume Parlor customers are just thinking about the juice itself. But if you're one of those people who, yeah, you're all about the juice, but also you quite like having a nice bottle sitting there on the shelf, I know, I know I am, uh, then you might want to just try this bottle out. You might want a few of them lined up. Uh, it might just look nice if presentation is a consideration to you. So, you know, drop them an email, see what they can do for you. But um, for the quality of the juice, uh, 20 pounds for 60 mil is, is a good deal. If you want to purchase anything from Perfume Parlor, as always, I will have my affiliate link in the description below the video. So do check that out if you want to grab some great scents at some good prices. I know there's a lot of you Perfume Parlor customers out there, so perhaps you'd like the, the new upgraded presentation. If you've tried this one, if you're a fan of Dark Return, let me know how close you think it is to buy Killian. Uh, how, do you prefer the Killian or do you prefer this one? drop some comments and just generally any other Perfume Parlor information that you would love to share. I love these Perfume Parlor videos because people are always dropping recommendations for me to try because still, believe it or not, there are many fragrances from Perfume Parlor that I haven't yet purchased. So always happy to get recommendations. So leave me some comments. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, keep tuning into FM and keep smelling good.